Hey Sagittarius, this reading is for you guys. Let's just go ahead and jump on in and we'll see what the universe has to say to you guys today. So universe, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? You got some, some advice, some insight, maybe some warnings, some guidance on their path. Oh, we're, we're dropping cards, so that's definitely a good time to start. That's her cue to me. So we have foundation and achievements. We have fertility. Prosperity begins. Conflict and defeat. And partnerships and alliances. So to me, this is already speaking of, of you growing a new future for yourself. Uh, setting down firm foundations. Uh, perhaps there's you're starting a new career or relationship. Uh, but definitely building on on a future. So I have memories of love, transformation, the waiting game, spiritual union, and obstacles and challenges. So I do believe that um, that a romantic relationship is a part of this as well. Um, but I'm getting a strong vibe of of career and not just career but of a way of life as well you guys are building a life so along with all of that is uh, choosing a career that will provide that that provides happiness and fulfillment um, choosing where you want to live to build your new life I think all of that is going to come into play here I think this is this is all about setting down roots. And like I said, starting starting a new life and all the cards are jumping out here. So I'm going to just go ahead and keep going. So I have the lover's card. Queen of Cups. So I believe the lover's card speaks of, speaks of this relationship, this romantic relationship. Um, a deep passionate connection uh, I think you guys are well matched I think this is this is a long-term relationship I have the Queen of Cups and in, and in this read when I look at her I see emotional fulfillment and I believe that that also speaks of this relationship um, that the two of you are are very emotionally supportive of each other you meet each other's emotional needs um, I have the Justice card here, and she speaks of balance. And I, I think this is going to speak of of this new life that you're building uh, with home and with career and making sure that, um, that everybody has enough of what they need from you and that everybody's, everybody's happy and that you have enough of what you need as well, that you're not being pulled too much in one direction or another. I have the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles... Uh, to me represents you're going to start seeing um, sort of the fruits of your labor. So as you're making these these changes, as you're building on this, because you are, I, I believe that you're headed in exactly to the direction that you're supposed to, you're going to start seeing it pay off. And that's the universe's way of not just rewarding you, but showing you that, that you're headed in the right direction as well. I got the Ace of Cups, uh, which also speaks of new beginnings. I have uh, the Two of Wands, which speaks of a choice uh, and choosing a path. But in this, in this, I think it ties into the Justice Scales. I feel like it ties into you um, choosing, choosing not to give um, one side or another more of your time or attention. Uh, than the other side in in a way that's going to sort of upset the balance uh, and cause cause upheaval in on one side or the other that might uh, hinder your success. Also, I believe the four cups speaks to that as well. Um, I also got the three of swords, which is sometimes uh, it represents separation. What I believe that these cards are speaking to in this are a warning 
I think they're a warning of this new life that you're building and all the work that you're putting into it. And I think it speaks of, I believe it speaks of, not putting so much time into this career that your partner feels neglected. That's what, it tell, that's what it's telling me. That's the vibe that I get when I look off these cards here. Um, I also have the Strength card, and I feel like... In this, I feel like it speaks to the strength of your bond in your relationship. That's what I see when I look at her. So I have the Ace of Swords, which tends to represent triumph. And I think that also speaks of, of your relationship, of this new path that you're on. Um, I have the King of Swords, and when I look at him, um, I just see the word loyalty. And I think that's your relationship as well. Like you guys have stuck it out through thick and thin. Things aren't going to be, you know, 100%. Even on this path, um, the work that you still have to put in and building a future, it does take time. And sometimes things may get a little rocky. But that speaks of the loyalty that nobody's going anywhere. And both of you are willing to keep putting in the time and putting in the work to make this successful. I have uh, the Nine of Pentacles. And she speaks of abundance. And I believe that she speaks of the payoff of all of this. That you will see. You will see this work out. You will be getting the type of life that you want. You will be building that firm foundation from the future. I have the Six of Pentacles here. And he speaks of an even give and take. And again, I, I believe that goes along with um, making sure that everybody has enough of what they need. Uh, so that no, no one area uh, gets neglected. I have the Chariot. She represents perseverance and uh, positive forward movement. And so I think that's the universe's way of encouraging you to, to just keep going on the path that you're going. You're headed in the right direction. Even if things get a little bit rocky, uh, to, to keep, keep pulling through. Um, I have the Eight of Wands here. And in this, it speaks of communication. And I think that's with your partner. I think that's keeping the lines of communication open with your partner. Um... So that everybody's comfortable saying if, okay, I, I feel like you're spending too much time uh, with the work stuff. Or I don't feel like I'm getting enough of this or enough of that. And that both of you can speak it out loud and everybody can, can be receptive to it. So I have, I have the Nine of Wands here. And to me in this, it speaks of perseverance as well, of um, sort of slugging away at this change and working towards it for a while. Uh, the Seven of Cups uh, represents choices and choosing wisely. And I think that ties in also with um, keeping a balance in your home and work life and making sure that you're not, you're not choosing one over the other and that both are getting the proper amount of attention. I have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, which represents something you've been working towards for a long time, coming to fruition. And I think that's what this is too, that you're going to start seeing the payouts of this pretty quickly. Now I have the Eight of Cups, which speaks of uh, a new positive journey. So I think once you guys are settled in this new foundation, um, you sort of got things got things set in this sort of this new life uh, that you guys are building uh, that you've been working towards uh, I believe that it's it's all just going to be a wonderful new journey for you guys so I have patience and planning I have disruption I have moving on and I have uh, sacrifice as well um, I believe that uh, the disruption ties in um, with the patience and planning and not letting anything disrupt um, all the forward momentum, the positive, pos positive movement forward that you've been doing and building on this life. Um, I believe that the sacrifice also speaks of, of choosing wisely, of keeping things balanced, not feeling like you're having to sacrifice too much of one thing or another in your life, keeping it all even. And uh, moving on again to me speaks of this new beginning that you're doing, uh, this new life, and this new 
new career, maybe new home, because I think this is a whole new everything. I think you guys are just completely setting down the foundation for the life that you want. So there may be a few changes in the work here um, with career, uh, maybe with where you're living as well, because right now you're you're setting down where you want to plant your roots and where you want to grow as, as a couple and as a family um, to have that life that you guys both want. As far as I can tell from the cards, it looks like you're doing the right thing. You're on the right track and you're going to start seeing payoffs from that uh, coming pretty quick here. Alrighty guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, feel free to comment. I, I would love to hear what you guys have to say and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.